Here. Pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain the sequence impedance of the transformer. There are three sequence impedance are available. Positive sequence impedance, negative sequence impedance and zero sequence impedance. First of all, I am going to explain the positive and negative sequence impedance of the transformer. Every power system network has a number of transformers for stepping down and stepping up the voltage level. The transformer for a three-phase circuit may consist of a three single-phase transformer with winding suitably connected in star or delta or it may be three-phase unit. Modern transformer invariably three-phase unit because of their lower cost, less space requirement and higher efficiency. The positive sequence impedance of the transformer is equal to the leakage impedance. The resistance of the winding is usually small as compared to the leakage reactance. Since the transformer is a static device, the negative sequence impedance is same as the positive sequence impedance of the transformer. Next, I am going to explain the zero sequence impedance of the transformer. The zero sequence impedance is of three phase unit is slightly different from positive sequence impedance. However, the difference is very slight and zero sequence impedance is also assumed to be the same as the positive sequence impedance. The flow of zero sequence current through the transformer is greatly depends on winding connections. The zero sequence current can flow through the winding connected in star only if the star point is grounded. If the star point is not grounded, zero sequence current cannot flow. If the star point is isolated, zero sequence current cannot flow through the winding. Zero sequence current cannot flow in the delta connected winding because no return path is available. However, zero sequence current can circulate through delta winding themselves. Here I am going to explain flow of zero sequence current in the delta winding. The zero sequence current can flow the delta winding internally but cannot flow outside. See the current IA0, IC0, IB0 and three zero sequence current ICA0, ICB0, IAB0 can flow inside the loop of the delta winding, cannot flow outside. Next, I am going to explain equivalent circuit for written winding zero sequence network of the transformer. See, this is the equivalent circuit which is used for determining the zero sequence current. Here, A and B that is meant for star connection and C and D is meant for delta connection. A and B star connection with grounded neutral and C, C and D are close when delta connection is there. So rule number one, close switch A primary, in the primary winding is star connected with neutral grounded. Rule number two, close switch C primary winding is delta connected. Rule number three, close switch B in the secondary winding is star connected with neutral grounded. Rule number four is secondary winding is delta connected. Then you have to close the switch. Next, I am going to explain how to draw current zero sequence network. Here, see the first number one star is grounded. Again, the star is grounded. Primary star is grounded. Secondary also star is grounded. Zero sequence current can flow through the neutral. See, this is the equal general equivalent circuit. In the general equivalent circuit, the first case, the star is grounded, A is closed and B is closed. And C and D are open. Next. Second one, star is grounded, delta is not grounded. Zero sequence current flowing in the primary, but no zero sequence current can leave from the star delta winding. So A is closed, B is not closed, D is closed. C is also not closed. Third one, Y and delta. Neutral is not grounded. 
So A is open. No zero sequence current flow in the transformer. A is open. Then C is open. B is open and D is closed. The fourth one is delta delta. Zero sequence current circulate but cannot leave from the delta binding. E is open and the last B is open. C is closed and D is closed. Thank you. Have a nice day.